Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. Well, the guys are at it again. Don't know how many of these pits they're going to be able to get done today. I've got uh, another mission to complete. I'm going to be going to Trinidad, doing some things over there. So I'm thinking probably I won't have a lot of time to be here. on the farm today. It's William of Arabia. We got, you know, a little, a light rain for, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes this morning. Just enough to get on your slippers and irritate you. Uh, it would be nice if it would continue all day. It would be nice if we would have a heavy rain all day. It would, uh, well, it would be nice for the farm. It wouldn't be too nice for these guys having a workout in it, but um, we desperately need the rain. I mean, the rainy season was supposed to start here a month, six weeks ago. And we have gotten some rain, much more than we were getting before, but. Uh, not enough to fill up the fish pond, not enough to bring up the well any, um, just, just enough. I mean, we haven't had to water, uh, I mean, these, the banana trees and coffee trees that we had planted around the old chicken enclosure here, for the most part, are doing pretty well, but uh, they're still thirsty. Uh, it doesn't take long in this climate and with this soil uh, for them to need water again. You know, you can look at the satellite map here and you can look to the east and you think, wow, we're going to get a ton of rain. It's going to get wet here. And it's like it just, it's, it's like there's a, <laughs> it's like there's two signs to the position about 300 miles to the east of the hole pointing at storms and one one sign points north and the other side points west or south and they just they veer one way or the other and that you know part of that's part of that's a good thing because the the any typhoons that come along basically do the same thing but it makes it tough to get rain also are continuing on we got this one done came down here to get top tie because we have to go to Trinidad and he's he's not here so now we gotta go hunt him up Well, I wanted to come down and finish up this video before it got too dark. Uh, just got back from Trinidad. As you can all see, the rock path has been completed. And they actually pulled a little bit extra back out of this here because, of course, they need dirt uh, to put in the pits. And so uh, that's all completed. It's looking good to me so far. Maybe it's looking a little bit tight 
right here. Right here, check this. Tata and I could not be here you know, this afternoon. You now I can see what they did here. They actually filled in a little bit here on the sides. That's what that is. Probably, probably after I get water in them, uh, I'll have them come by and do that again. Just fill in along the sides there, because, or or just cave it in. Uh, after we get water in, just cave in the sides a little bit, and um, uh, go from there. The the height doesn't need to be that high. The, the matter is neither here nor there. How high the middles are. So, all we need now is water. So, Tata and I, <laughs> I've got to go out to Trinidad again tomorrow. Uh, today's Saturday, so the guys aren't going to be working on this tomorrow. It's going to be me and Tata and Nerio. Uh, that's going to be the crew next week. Um, well, <laughs> because we've, we've spent our budget. Um... I was hoping they'd get a lot more of these done than they did, but um, they've got these. They've got these beginning ones uh, worked out here. They've got them all dug out anyway, and they got these two completed. Of course, it takes a little bit longer. Um, hard to figure just uh, just the man hours per pit. Um, I mean, in two days, those four guys got all these pits dug out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they've got two of them completed and five left to go. And basically the way it worked out is they got dirt in both of them a day and the tarp put in one in a day. And that was four men today. So I, I don't think it's any, any slower or any faster uh, than it was before, but these pits are much longer and much uh, wider than they were before. I'm overall pleased. Now all we need is a good rain. We had a little sprinkle this morning and that was it. Uh, cloudy all day. But that's it. We need a torrential rain for hours to get some water into that pond. And it wouldn't hurt these pits any either. But it is what it is. Um, if, I, if I had the wherewithal to make it happen, I'd dig a well right here. I'd put in another well right there where Twinkie is. Uh, back up against this bank here. I would have to go down about 15 or 16 feet here and that would give us two or three feet of water in the well. And it wouldn't take that long to dig it, but the problem is uh, casing, or not casing, but uh, well yeah, casing. Um, the hollow blocks are expensive, the cement is expensive. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do hollow blocks anyway, I would pour it. I would just pour a slab, uh, a wall slab. Just frame it up and pour it like we did the bottom on the extension of the well in the bottom. Um, can't go any deeper in the well we've got because it would have to buy a new pump. <coughs> the pump we have <coughs> is at its maximum lift and it won't pump any higher. Uh, so uh, those are our two options basically. You dig a deeper well than the one we have and get a new pump. Uh, which would be about 10,000 pesos. Or dig a little shallow well here and buy a new pump, smaller pump, and that'd probably be about 25,000 pesos. So uh, there's no easy way out. It would all be solved by some rain. So that's what we're hoping for. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.